Hey everybody, Troy from the Do-It-Yourself World and the Do-It-Yourself World Electronics. I have here the battery switching set up with 12 volt batteries. Now we're going to get into what you guys have been waiting for, the exciting stuff. I am still working with 18650s. I've got a few in the background over there. I've still got a lot more tests I'm going to run on this. Um, but right now I'm running 12 volt batteries and we're going to work on up to big batteries. Hold on a sec. Like this. All right, and that's what we're getting to. Right now I'm desulfating that. That'll be a separate video, a long-term video, I think. But I'm working on fixing up some batteries. Now for this test, I have a car rear window defroster with two settings, a fan and the fan and heat. Now this one never did blow very hard on the fan and heat, probably because I'm using these little thin wires. I'm waiting for my good stuff to come in the mail. I ordered it a long time ago. It is not here yet. So I'm waiting. I'm waiting for the wires to arrive. I got the clips today. So uh, that's the slide on terminals, but the wire hasn't arrived. So when the wire arrives, I'll probably get more current through this because these are horrible. So that's probably a limiting factor. Anyway, Watch the amp meter. It hardly does anything on fan only, but the batteries, this one will be discharging. That one will be charging. It's at 12.55, 25.8. Again, series for 24 volts, parallel for 12 with the load in between. So, um, actually, I'm going to disconnect. Let me see how. No, I already got these wired. I did a test already. I'm not going to waste my time rewiring everything. Um, uses uh, 150 milliamps on heater. It barely registers on fan only without the second set of batteries. Now I did notice when I turned it on, notice it fan only barely moves that meter, barely. But um, that is increasing, that is decreasing, so we have transfer of power. When I turn on heat, this is going to jump up to just under 150 milliamps, so there's less current. It doesn't blow hard, that's how this is. So we're, yeah, I don't know, 10, 10, 20 milliamps less power than um, it was without the set. So I probably have, I don't have enough difference in voltage between this set and that set to run this on high, but I pull this down to 24.1. That's up to 12.88890. I mean, we've got transfer of power big time, massively transferring power through the load. The load is running. Um, I would love to see. This is not a really good heater. I'm gonna think I'm gonna grab a bit another heater. I do have uh, some warmth. It's really not enough. I need better wires. But it is transferring. To shut it off. Just jump back to up. 12.9 and dropping. So this is a massive show of transfer of power from one set of batteries through a load to another set. I, ho I do hope you can see that. Turn that on. Fan. And it's just going to slowly. That's fan only. All right. But turn that on heat. I definitely need better wiring. I'm probably gonna burn these little guys up. Yeah, they're warm. Anyway, pulling um, 100 and, what is it, 20, 46, 125 milliamps. It's really pitiful. It should be pulling a lot more. I don't know, it only pulled 150 straight up off the batteries. It's got to be the wires. So I won't run it long till I get my new wires, but we do have transfer power. That's at 13.0, and these are at 25. So massive transfer of power through this. Really interesting. Very, very, very brief until I get my wires, but it is showing a transfer of power. And this little guy is sort of weak. He's old. I think I got I got a different one I'm going to pull out for when I get my uh, everything done up nicely. But it does work. 12.8, 25.5, 25.8, 25.8, 25.8, 25.8, 25.8, 25.8, 25.8, 25.8, 25.8, 25.8, 25.8, 25.8, 25.8, 25.8, 25.8, 25.8, 25.8,
that's going to drop a little bit further but we transferred a lot of power into these from these ones finally today I am going to solder up my board I can probably make it a lot smaller um, there's some parts that go here and a part that goes here and they're gonna be a lot of wires but I'm gonna solder this together today and hopefully have a functioning um, battery switching board with um, manual switches and then for the lead acid batteries I've got relays so and little microcomputers and that will be fully automated system first this one hopefully I'll get the relays going today though because I'm tired of uh, manually wiring up batteries and undoing them but anyway let me get this together but what do you think it's uh, plain and simple nice and neat that's how I want it so come along note to self don't grab the soldering iron look at that stripe stripe you can see where I grabbed it uh, that hurt oh carefully I've got batteries in there I'm being careful because I've got live wires now so now I've got a voltmeter and I've got a switch so I've got the common ground here and a common positive here now if I flip this switch you'll hear it click it should go to 8 volts and being parallel uh-huh and flip the switch again click and it's in uh, sorry parallel that's parallel yep and there's series so I'm flipping this switch here and I'm getting series and parallel outputs success now I'll try the other one separately not putting both sets of batteries in checking my outputs so I don't fry anything very very careful working here I started with one battery made sure that the connections were good and then I had output started with the other battery alone made sure everything was good and I was getting outputs then I put two in just being careful safe troubleshooting and I make sure I get series in parallel by flipping a switch success now I'll do the other test separately taking these out make sure these wires are connected right so there it is so far now I've got to prep some batteries I've got to peel the tabs off and uh, clean them pop all the batteries in there I have not connected the voltmeter yet I have not connected you can see the wires are hanging here the um, USB output and I have not connected the solar charge controller but um, I didn't connect the leads either down there nope I didn't connect any inputs yet I got the output connections on and the diodes are on so this part is not done this isn't done and this isn't done because first I'm going to test the batteries and the switches and make sure it works well I have a more finished board now I flipped the power on and I have this disconnected in case I goof something up but I can manually hold it on there and it comes on saying 100% battery charge and then it goes to sleep well there it goes anyway the way this device is set up it doesn't keep the display on for more than a second and then you have to push the button to see the display but it's working I do have power output I next have to hook up the meter and its switches and a charger but I do have power starting to come along good alright guys I've gone one step farther here and now I have the LED display and I can press a button shows 4.26 volts on the one side press it over and I've got 7.05 on the other side pretty cool I can flip my switches around and that should now be the opposite 3.54 and this is the parallel side 8.49 it works the switches work the voltmeter works the diodes are hooked up all I gotta do now is hook this up and that's always going to have power to it as long as the main power switch is on pretty cool stuff so I've got the outputs going I'm gonna have that going for the commercial version I can't use this circuit because the drill holes are too tiny and there's too many weird odd things sticking up out of here I used hot glue um, 
In the commercial version, I would have this coming through behind the board and not hot glued on front. That was an error in my thinking when I set up the board. That was the only error when I set up the board. And I used hot glue here. On, um, I'm not against using hot glue, but I don't want it visible. I still have to do the solar charging port and connect this last wire, and we'll have a finished really cool system here. All right, guys, this is working. I have um, input for charging here and here, so plus and minus. I have a charge controller, so these inputs go through a charge controller. I have a USB input for charging as well, and uh, you can hook up a solar panel or a 5-volt USB power source. I have your on-off power switch here. I got the battery switching here. One is always up and one is always down. You can flip them to reverse the batteries. I've got the um, LED meter here and I've got battery right and left. So if you press the button, it shows 8.5 volt and flip the button and it'll show the other batteries 3.54. That's all working. I hope that showed up on the on there. I don't know if you saw that because of the light. Well, anyway, that works. And then I just haven't hooked this up yet until I'm done testing a little more. I'll be doing that next. Everything goes through these diodes to make sure that the plus and minus are automatically chosen. No more switches there. Pretty cool. So far, that's done. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my um, USB LED lamp on the output direct and then I'm gonna go through here so I've got two more tests yet to do before I well one more test before I hook this up but it's looking good okay guys this will be it for today I now have um, I hooked up the LED lamp I do not like this one so I am not gonna put that on the when I make these for sale I'm not putting this circuit on I don't like it at all um, the charger works, the battery switches works, I've got this off, when I flip this on the light will come on, there we go, and that does come on, but it doesn't like the um, circuit, it doesn't like it at all, so this guy isn't working, but the LED lamp is lit, the battery switching works, and my voltage, 3.56, is that showing? I do hope that shows up. All right, I believe that one's going to be the one charging now. We can flip the switch and look at the other side is 8.47. That will be discharging through the lamp, through the load now. And the other one will be charging 3.56. That'll start going up. Pretty cool. Now I can zoom back out here. And what I can do is show you, flip off, flip around the batteries, flip the load back on uh, too low. The reason is because the one set of batteries we got 7.05 but the other set is charged at 4.26. These ones here are fully charged and they're reading 4.26. I think this meter is a little off. I can calibrate it. But these are fully charged and with them being the one on the charging side it's not going to work out they're too high a voltage. The voltage difference between discharge and charge is not enough. Because this side is at 7.06, which is 3.5 volts a set. And the voltage difference between the two is just not enough to light the light bulb. But, flip the power, flip your switches, flip the power back on. Now you got this one running the load. This side charging. Now you can run it for a while like that. 3.56 because this side is at 8.47 so that's fully charged so this this side is going to run the load for a while when this gets down too low this side will be higher and then we can flip the switches and continue on so there it is guys it works I'm going to be getting some different USB circuits because I don't like that one at all and it doesn't play nicely with my board but everything else is good to go. Please let me know, guys, whoever's interested in getting one. 
I got enough parts to build some extras. I will be getting a different uh, USB board on there, the output board. But even without it, it's a really awesome board at this time for experimenting with the uh, running a load while charging another set of batteries and then flopping it around to get more power out. I'm going to run some experiments once this is run for a while. I want to run these down and then I'll run the solar panel on there, but that's another day because that's going to take some time to run that down. Well, please like this video and subscribe if you haven't because the next video is going to be about lead acid batteries. And home solar, off-grid home solar switching to extend the life of your batteries and give you more usable power at the same time. That is going to excite a lot of people, I'm sure.